Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're over here at Ascension, the point by Pulte Homes. They just opened up their model homes. We're super excited and we can't wait to show you what it's all about. Let me flip it over. So they have a total of four different floor plans to choose from all single story homes, all priced over the mid million range and up. It's pretty expensive. One good thing is, is there are no SIDS in this community? And we're gonna take a tour of the royalty. And the royalty is actually, thank, oh, you, thank you, is my favorite floor Aww. plan. 3,475 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths and a three car garage. You actually have the option also for a casita and also additional guest suite. I This is my favorite floor plan by far, right? Yeah, this is nice. This casita is super nice. Ooh, it smells this good in here. The YouTube studio. Yeah, this would be my YouTube studio. And this slider is an option. And it has its own little bathroom with the shower, which is an upgraded if you want the bench and um, what's gonna call it? Low threshold. I gotta hurry. I thought we were the only ones previewing. <laughs> They're not supposed to let anyone in till 12. <laughs> A lot of people showing up. I got the exclusivity rights. Just kidding. <laughs> so the base price of this one is one million six hundred and twenty five thousand nine ninety that's just the base price that doesn't include your lot premium or structural options or any upgrades and that price could change by the time you watch this video every time they release lots in this community the prices change they do have two lots available and two move-in ready lots but they're not really technically move-in ready they just all options have been selected so let's see why this is our favorite floor plan. Now this extra door, let me go to my royalty page. This, um, this pivot door is actually extra. But as you walk in, because of this elevation, the ceilings aren't as high as the King's Gate, but they are still pretty decent size. These look like 12 feet, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Or 14 in some areas. Mm -hmm. this is so as you walk in, you have this den option right here. And in this den option, you do have, um, you can have these normal French doors or you can have them solid French doors. And then the slider is also an upgraded option. This one's cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that green chair. It's warm and moody in here. Yeah. So then you have the foyer. And as you walk in, you have the dining room. Wow, look how big that is. Very nice. I'm digging the lights in here. Yeah. And they have this extra large island, which this is an extra option feature, right? So in this dining room, which they call it a cafe, normally the normal floor plan would be windows and windows. These sliders are an added upgrade, as well as the sliders meeting here. There's like three or four different ways you can have the sliders. Since this is a window, that's a window, then you'd have a traditional slider here, but all of these have been highly upgraded. I love that cabinet too. Yeah. Look at it. This is my kind of house because it has that green. Mm -hmm. Love With it. With the black and the white? Yes. So for the fireplace, you also have, I think, two different fireplace options. One gas or one electric. I highly recommend going electric just because of how much gas is, right? <laughs> gas is expensive. Look what they did. It was a good texture. Yeah. And they put two big couches. Yeah. This room's big. So when you buy new construction, you're going to pick your lot, then you're going to pick, well, first you pick your floor plan, then you pick your elevation if able to, and then your lot. Then you meet with the sales consultant before you go under contract to pick your structural upgrades, which are these kinds of things, right? 
And then once you do go under contract, you're going to go to the design studio within a month or so to pick up your fit and finishes, your upgrades, your countertops, your cabinets, your hardware, your flooring, your lighting package, etc. Um, so it's a fun day at the design studio and it can add up, especially if you want everything that the model home has. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So now the kitchen has like three or four different kitchen options, like a gourmet kitchen, executive kitchen, and also depends on how the island's laid out. This is an upgraded option for the island. There's another one with just a plain island with the waterfall, and I think there's another one that's an executive. Also, when you go to the design studio, you're going to pick your different appliance packages, and they have different levels of appliance packages. For some reason here, they have KitchenAid, mm -hmm. but I thought only Signature was offered. So maybe this is the lower end appliances, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I like how they did that little drawers right there. Yeah. Can you open these? Mm -hmm. Sure. So they didn't do the pools no on pools the others. Though, yeah. Is it soft close? It is soft close. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then they had the, the farmer sink single basin farmer mm -hmm. sink with the upgraded hardware. And does this have the pool? Yep, the it does. Mm -hmm. And this, I don't know if this is an option or not, that little wine fridge. This is nice. Yeah. And the ceiling, or the cabinets are pretty tall, as well as your oven. And this is probably a convection microwave. It is, yep. And then this refrigerator. Now you can buy the refrigerator with Pulte or you can also get the refrigerator on your own. That's not really, I don't think, part of the appliance package. I love this unit right here. There's natural wood shelves in there. Yeah, that would be super beautiful. And this is actually a nice mid-tone engineer hardwood as well. Whoops, the guy's in here. I don't think, we, did we look at the pantry? No. All right, let's look at the pantry. Let's get a kind of view. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's huge. Hello, hello. <laughs> and I like these standard shelves that come with Pulting. Yeah, this is a nice touch. It's very nice. I mean, you're first spending this kind of money. Now, here's my favorite feature of this home, which is this little area. So you have this, what's called a game room. It's kind of like if you had a two-story home, it would be considered the loft, right? It's super huge. And you also have two bedrooms back here. But let's take a look. This third bedroom can be an option to extend it and eat up the one car garage that's right there and become a guest suite, which is actually pretty cool looking to have. Now these all have their own ensuite, which I think is a super great feature to have as well. They went with the upgraded option with the bench and the low threshold. If you wanted to go with a builder grade, it would just be the tub shower combination. But I think it's pretty cool that Pulte is offering these types of guest suites with kitchenettes so you have these guests living. Then you have this other bedroom, which I love as well. Love this day bed concept. I'm actually seeing this makes me want to get one myself. And these bedrooms are around, uh, this one's a smaller one at 10 by 10 and the other one's 11. I think that's 10 by, no, this one's, this is 11 by 12 and the other one's 10 by 10. But I like that they have the ensuite, right? This is such a nice feature. And as you can see right here, they have the generic builder grade tub shower insert, insert to show you what it looks like. But they did the upgraded faucets. Now we've been to the Pulte Design Studio. I've done a TikTok video on it. It's very overwhelming. It's a lot of different options to choose from. If you do buy new construction, you need your realtor with you to give you advice on the most cost effective upgrades to spend on, what's great for resale and all that good stuff, right? Yeah, Angela has a great design eye as well. So if you need help with that. So let us know in the comments what you think of this video footage. We have a new DJI Osmo gimbal and um, I think the picture quality looks pretty good. Yeah, we're not seeing the streaks of the lights. I was seeing it in the other video though. Then you have a half bath right here, which is also additional nice feature to have. This is cool in here. 
Yeah. And then, what's this? Can you open that? Yes. Another linen closet. Then you have the laundry room, as well as, I think this one opens because it has the design studio. So this is the two car garage, but this is where they show you how the Pulte home is built and the guest bathroom. But I like this option. So this is, they have three laundry room options. One is without the door leading to the primary bedroom. The other option would be a little smaller. And the third option is this one where it's a lot bigger as you can see. Also, if you don't make it bigger, you have an option of an entry boot bench somewhere. I think a boot bench right there, yeah. Um, and this would be a closet, I think, if you look at the, the schematics. But I like this feature the best, the expanded laundry room that leads into the primary bedroom. All of this is upgraded. Now, if you ever want your home to look like the model home, you expect to spend at least 500,000, if not more, on upgrades, right? Because Yeah, because my client, there's another client of mine that was gonna get the Genoa, no, the Cecina, over at Incline, and when we went over her structural options just to get some of those amenities like the sliders and stuff, it was 185,000 just for the structural options. That didn't include any of the upgrades. That could be another additional two or 300,000. Yeah, flooring. Yeah, we had another client that bought a park lane over at Talvona that spent over 200,000 in upgrades and they were just basic upgrades. Mm -hmm. So believe you me, they can be costly. Damien and I will be doing some new construction videos pretty soon, posting and showing you what new construction things to avoid or what you can get away with. Another upgraded feature is to have this um, fireplace in the primary bedroom, as well as this also has an owner's retreat. It just looks super cozy. Yeah, I like this. And then the option to put sliders right here in the owner's retreat. Then you have this huge primary, and this is the different option. So this is the upgraded primary bathroom upgrade. So you have it split right here with the separate sinks, but normally it would be on the floor plan. The shower would be in the middle and then the sinks on each side. So this is the upgraded option for the owner suite which is huge. And then also to add a slider right here is an upgraded option. We'll go take a look in the backyard last. This is pretty neat, all upgraded, same cabinets as the kitchen, same countertops. And surprisingly, they didn't put any custom shelving in here to let you see what it would look like with custom shelves. This is the standard shelving that comes with the Pulte Homes, which is better than the normal builder grade wood rods, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is huge. This is a very large closet. Yes, very nice. What else? Casita, I want the Casita. I want this floor plan. This is my favorite floor plan. That's a great feel. Yeah. Cool yeah, of course, you know, it would never look like this because it's a model home. Then you have this hallway right here. And the den. Let's take a look outside. Can you open the sliders yeah. for me? So I have a, they all have covered Lagosha, but to have this extra fireplace is an upgraded option which is pretty nice. And then it extends all the way this way. I like it. I want one of these. Yeah, I want one of these too. <laughs> I want an electric fireplace though. Gas is too expensive. Now I do believe the typical lot sizes, depending on your floor plan, um, you know, like the King's Gate requires at least a 13,000 square foot lot because of the uh, footprint of the house. Let me look on the map to see what the average lot sizes are, if it can tell me. Let's see if you can see it. 
Wow, 19, 16, 15. So they're pretty big yeah, lot sizes. Size. Some are 11,000. It just depends probably on your footprint, right? But this is a large lot. And that is Crestline over there by Toll Brothers. This will all be the point. So, yep. To summarize, we're over here at the point at Ascension in the Peaks Village, Summerlin South. We're taking a tour of the royalty floor plan that is single story, 3,475 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, three car garage with a game room, a front courtyard, an option to make it into a large guest suite, an optional casita, all that jazz. Base price starting at $1,625,990. Again, that's just the base price. That does not include a lot premium or structural options, and that price can change at any time. Let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan and what your favorite floor plan is here over in the point. I know what my favorite is. You know what your favorite is? Well, the royalty. Is yes. Your favorite. I'm because I'm, I'm royalty. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, also, if you are thinking about buying a new construction home anywhere in the valley, before you even tour the model homes, you need to bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit. So you can call me at... Give Angela a call at 702-370-5112 and she knows this community intimately. Yes, I have a listing under contract here, a client buying. I know how to work with the sales team. They know me very well. It's important that you have a realtor on your side, especially if you're from out of state. Show us some love. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.